the question is, what's in the box? So, I'll open it and I'll show you. Oh yes. of the box, the dog's here, dad's here, waiting in anticipation, because he loves protein and anything free. <laughs> so, let's have a look inside. Let's open her up. Oh, now hang on a minute. Now that is some serious performance with no compromises. So guys, if you don't know, I'm sure you do, people who watch my channel, because obviously, the Perform range is now out, which is a little bit more bespoke to people who have an aesthetic goal, have a health goal. Yo Pro, I've always made some fantastic products, but obviously with this range, it's a bit more bespoke, if you will. It's high protein, it's low fat, it's great tasting. You can't really go wrong. So the guys reached out. They said, hey, look, we'd like to send you something. I said, you know what? Yeah, why not? Of course, I love the product. A lot of my clients use it. I only like to promote things that I actually use, believe in, and genuinely think is a, a great ethical product, which is which is awesome. So thank you to the team at YoPro. What I'm gonna do is later in this clip, I'm gonna actually go through and rate, if you like, these products. I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on them for you guys so you can know what's what and what's not. And if you haven't already checked out YoPro, make sure you do. Link in the description for you guys. You'll find them at any of your local stores. And again, you know what the branding looks like and it's gonna help you get in your protein, calcium and other nutrient goals. So, how is that for a spread? Thank you very much to YoPro. I think we're gonna be stocked up for a while. Got a few flavors here. My favorite, personally. Key lime and banana, spoiler alert. And we've got quite a few flavors, protein bars. We've got coconut, cacao nut protein bar. We've got mixed berries, uh, salted caramel, the works. Uh, but like I said, I'll go through these in the next clip that you guys see and uh, give you my review, give you my recommendation. Talk a little bit about protein and performance. Let's do it. Okay, welcome back to another YouTube video. And as you've probably already figured out by the thumbnail and the title, today we're talking about YoPro. They were kind enough to send me through a performance pack based on the new Perform range. They've sent me a variety of yogurts and a variety of protein bars. Now, I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a taste testing, a little bit of a review, and run you through some of their current and new products, uh, more specifically the Perform range, and share with you some of the benefits. So I'm not sponsored by YoPro, although if you want to, that would be great, seriously, love it. But I have used their products for many years, along with a lot of my clients, and they're great to help you achieve your protein goals, to help you get in the nutrients, perform, and stay on track with health and body composition. So, there's zero added sugar, they're full of probiotics, they've got amino acids in them, and they're gonna help you achieve your daily protein target. They also happen to taste great as well. So the quality is good, the nutrient density is good, and now I'm gonna run through some of the flavors. Now, when they sent this through, as you would have seen in the starting credits, it came in this like box, this presentation. I was really impressed, to be honest with you. They also sent me through a drink bottle, which was really handy because quite frankly, I was in need of one. I had a, a really big sort of jug of a bottle and I had a smaller one, but this one is just the perfect size. So it's stainless steel by the looks of things. It's embossed, it's like a matte finish looks cool, and, uh, and again, I don't have to keep filling my bottle up or lug around a massive jug. So thank you, YoPro, for that, and obviously sending me all of these goodies. Now, I've got all of the flavors in the new Perform range here, or at least I think I do based on what I've been sent, and I thought it would be really cool to go through. It's a bit windy, so hopefully that's not being picked up. We've got the mics on. Um, and give you guys a bit of an insight if you've not already tried any of this range or even certain flavors that you might want to do. So we're gonna go through one by one. I think we're gonna start with the yogurts because this will be 
the best way to do it. I could probably dip the protein bars in the yogurts, to be honest with you, because to be honest, mate, it just sounds like a good idea. Uh, and I've tried it before. So the first, one of the first flavors is mango passion yogurt. Now, spoiler alert, I already know what my favorite flavors are because I've been using these products for a while, but I thought I'd give them a bit of a rating out of 10 uh, to give you guys a bit of an insight. So let's start off with the mango passion yogurt. Look, they're all good. So that's my opinion. Ah, oh, there we go, mate. Look at that. Big explosion when you open it. <laughs> Got the wet wipe on hand. That's a good start, isn't it? So pro tip, if, uh, if it does have a bit of air in it, just don't aim it at your face or anyone else, unless you don't like them. All right. So we'll give it a bit of a mix up. I'm just gonna peel them like half off because I'm not gonna eat them all now because I don't wanna waste all that protein, mate. Do you know what I mean? So, here we go. Mango passion fruit yogurt. Well, it does taste like mango passion fruit. It's good sweetness. A lot of people said that in the originals, they didn't like the texture and flavor. I really like the texture and flavor of something a bit more stodgy. These are a little bit more, as you would imagine, a normal yogurt, so they're not as thick, but they're still creamy. The consistency is still, as you can see, quite gloopy. I like that, very creamy. Not too sweet as well, considering there's no added sugar. Macros, calories. So 121 calories for pretty much all of these yogurts. 20 grams of protein or 20.1 in this, 3.8 branched chain amino acids, 1.2 grams of fat, seven grams of carbohydrates of which there's 6.3 grams of sugar, but remember no added, sodium and obviously calcium in there, 439 milligrams. So, which is 55% 50, of your average RDA. So that's pretty damn good. So that's the mango right there. I'm not gonna tip that back up because it'll fall out. All right, I'm not gonna splatter this one on myself. This is the mixed berry yogurt. So, there we go. And this is obviously gonna be personal preference, right? Depends what you guys are into. That one, this one here reminds me of like one of the Yo Play yogurts I used to have when I was a kid. Really tasty. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That's almost got like a bit of a, bit of sweet and sour to it. So mixed berries almost, I feel like it's almost like there's a bit of cherry in there. It doesn't look or say that there is, but. Boysenberries, strawberry, blackberries, apple, lemon. There we go, so no, that's just me. But very nice. Not as sweet as the mango, in my opinion, the mango passion fruit, but I like that one. So mixed berry lovers, that'll be for you. All right, banana. This, so second favorite flavor is banana, first favorite is lime. And I'll tell you about the lime and exactly why a little bit later, because there's a bit of a story behind that. Oop, there we go. So that one was a little bit excited as well. A Little bit of spillage on the banana, keep it PG. All right, give it a bit of a mix up, mate. And yeah, oh yeah, that's the one. I don't, I don't know why. I've always liked banana milkshakes. I like the flavor. Banana is a very strong flavor. This one I feel is not too overpowering. They've done a really good job. Again, the macros are fairly identical between all of them, bar a few calories, a gram of fat gram of carbs here and there, or 0.5 or 0.1 of a gram. Um, but I really like that. I like that a lot. Um, so if you if you like the banana flavor, it's almost like little banana lollies, but just again, not as sweet, then highly recommend it. I usually have this with oats and granola with berries as well. So that's why I, I prefer the flavors, which are a bit more in singularity rather than like the mixed flavors. I think that would be good in a smoothie personally, where this is good with a lot of other ingredients in a bowl, so you've probably already seen my breakfast. Uh, and if not, check out some of the other videos and you'll see it. So again, second favorite, my first favorite is lime. Now, 
Key lime, you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And the reason why is it's quite a distinguished flavor. And so when I was in New Zealand, I used to live there for 10 years. And I remember at college, we had a little canteen, like you guys probably did as well. Or if you're still at college, you do. And they used to have these milkshakes called Primo. And Primo was like the brand, right? It was like the milkshake to get. Shout out to all the Kiwis out there, you will know about it. And they had some wicked flavors. And one of the flavors they had was lime. And one of my mates one day, he'd, he'd, well, he would always get a lime milkshake. It's like every Friday. I was like, lime? Like, what are you doing, man? Like, seriously. He's like, well, why not? Like, do you like the other flight? Do you like strawberry? Do you like chocolate? Do you like, you know, do you like the, the strong flavors or the simple flavors? And I was like, yeah, but lime, mate, like, it's crazy. And he's like, trust me, try it. You'll love it. And I was like, no, 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 for ages. Anyway, one day he's just like, trust me, just have a go. If not, like, I'll, I'll buy a new one. So anyway, had the lime milkshake never look back brilliant and any sort of flavors in milkshakes around like citrus fruits actually work really well you wouldn't think because of like you think it would curdle but it it really works well and that kind of reminds me of that it's not obviously exactly the same flavor but it still brings back that kind of memory and i just like the fresh sort of lime taste citrus with the creaminess of the yogurt it's really good so again get the air out of it give this a mix up. So I feel like this is this is a really polarizing flavor, similar to the banana, like you're gonna love it or you hate it. Or I feel like the mixed berry and the mango passion, people are just gonna, like they're a lot more user friendly. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. Like it's like this fresh citrus hit and then the aftertaste of like the milkiness, the creaminess, that was, that's what brings me back to the milkshake. So. Without a doubt, key lime, my favorite. So for the lime, 10 out of 10, because I love it. Um, banana, solid nine, mixed berry and mango and passion fruit, a solid eight out of 10 for me personally. So they're my favorites guys, but make sure that you give them a go, depending on your taste preference, like for the amount of protein you get, for what you spend, they're really good. Obviously, depending where you are, different prices. So I'm not going to quote anything. Now let's get on to the protein bars. So the first one we've got is salted caramel, um, a nut protein bar. So this one again, no added sugar, no artificial sweetness. It's got collagen added to it as well. So a lot of the time with your sweet treats or your bars, they've got a lot of added fillers a lot of um, sugar alcohols in there as well. They can really wreak havoc with the gut and give you that false sense of sweetness, which can actually trigger more hunger, as well as again, play a little bit of havoc when it comes to digestion. So when you're looking at qualitative ingredients, I'm not going too in depth of it. Um, ingredients and recipes and bars like this are gonna deliver you better taste, better flavor, and they're gonna be a lot better for you health-wise as well. So that is the reason why those key points are in person, so uh, are important. Let's talk about macros. So we're looking on these bars, looking 250 to 260 calories. They are all around the same. So 265, 268, this one is slightly higher, 261. So mixed berries got it. Again, they're all very similar in macros. In here, we've got 21.7 grams of protein, of which 11 grams is collagen, fat total 8.8, .8, carbs 19.8, of which 10.5 grams of sugar, and you've also got 10.6 grams of dietary fiber. So quite a lot of fiber in these guys. Um, so it kind of packs a punch with everything uh, and not bad for the size as well. So let me open this one up. Interesting texture. Better cool, by the way, guys, so keep them in the fridge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Flavor-wise, very good. Sweet, but again, not overly sweet or loaded. I like the nutty textures and flavors, but it's not super, super crunchy it gives you a little bit so it's not going to get like stuck in your teeth but there's a lot of chew on there but i think that's just from the temperature 
because you've got to keep them cool generally, otherwise they're quite sticky. But, and they sort of melt, get a bit soft, but whatever floats your boat, mate, you know. Um, yeah, I like that one. I believe, for memory, that's other, I think that's my second favorite, but we'll, we'll see. So there you go. That's the salted caramel. Now we're gonna go mix berry next. Again, similar, very similar nutrition profile. So I'm not even gonna read it out because it pretty much is the same. I'm gonna stop chewing. <laughs> Bit of water. Yeah, that's good. So that reminds me of one square meal. I don't know if you guys have them here in Australia, but we had them in New Zealand. They're basically these really dense bars and they've got like everything in them, fruit, nuts, vitamins, minerals. And it was in two, like it was like a square, hence the name, but it was two bars. And the, the reason apart from the shape, they called it a square meal is because it had all your like recommended daily intake of vitamins, minerals, fiber, protein, carbs, fats, but they were like really dense too. So I think each bar was like 500 calories and I used to eat them when I was trying to gain weight back in New Zealand and that reminds me of it. So I, that actually might take the cake for me because that brings back really good memories. I'm not usually a, a mixed berry kind of guy, but in the bar with like the nuttiness from the protein, that combo versus that, that does it. So I imagine that dipped in that would be pretty magic. Pretty magic indeed. All right, last one. Coconut cacao, nut protein bar. That just sounds like a good time. I like coconuts. I like cacao. It just sounds like a good combo and those things usually go really well together. Bit of chocolate, bit of coconut. Yeah, that's the one. That has got to be my favorite, to be honest. And again, this is personal. I just like the flake, like I love coconut and I love cacao. It's like a deep, rich chocolate. Again, you've got the nutty vibes going on there with the coconut that just complements it, which is like a little bit of tropical, but a bit exotic. That for me is my favorite. So I'm gonna go one, two, three in that actual order. So back from the way I ate them. I'm gonna give that a solid Eight and a half out of 10, eight out of 10, seven out of 10. Only because I'm greedy and I reckon the protein bars could be bigger. <laughs> um, but based on what's in them, they're really good. So there you are guys, that's the YoPro Perform range yogurts and protein bars. If you've not tried them, go and give them a go. Again, they're gonna help you reach your protein goals. They're really high quality in terms of the production, the nutrient, content, the macronutrient profile. They taste great. I'll, I'll be again, I'm not paid to say this, guys. I just thought, hey, it would make a great YouTube video and I'm grateful. I like to promote, as I always say, things that I believe in that I actually use. This is something that I actually do. So make sure you check them out and um, let me know what flavors you find the best. Like, what's your favorite flavor in the yogurt? Excuse me, comment in the um, comments below and same with the protein bars. Let me know what, um, what you like more and why and uh, what flavors you wanna see from YoPro actually, because I have a couple of ideas that I think would be really, really cool. Like I think in the yogurt, you don't really ever get anything. I guess you can't have something too left, like le left stream, but I'm thinking based on the flavors they've got, like a pina colada would be pretty cool. Like again, they could kind of have the banana with the coconut, something like that, mix it up. And then with the protein bars, they could have like a cookies and cream because, you know, why not? Something a bit rich like that. But again, keeping the flavors more natural, I think is great. And um, I guess the, the range will grow from there. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'll put a link to YoPro in the links below um, description so you can check out and go straight to their products, straight to their Instagram pages as well. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I'll play the game. And of course, until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah. It works.